Hello everyone, and welcome to Figure Review. On this episode, I'm continuing my look at WWE Elite 27 with... Fandango! Now this is Fandango's first Elite, and they did not do a bad job. This is another crazy figure. Uh, as you can see, he's striking his Fandango pose here. And the attire on this is pretty insane. Uh, as you can see, very uh, highly, uh, very brightly colored. We got purple, neon orange, neon green, silver studs, all sorts of stuff. Let's take a look. He's got his uh, Fandango vest here. Uh, the head scan is the same as the basic, but that's not a bad thing. It was already pretty good. Um, he's got his white out wrist tape. Uh, the vest here has black lapels to show the inside lining. And then, as you can see, this, like, uh, I don't know, zebra, tiger design. More of a zebra, I guess. All sorts of crazy colors on the sides. Uh, on the back, it's got more silver studs with the Fandango logo and flames there. And kind of hard to see here because there's so many colors, but it actually says, What's my name? Uh, let me take a, let me get rid of this vest real quick. Underneath the vest, we have a brand new torso here. Uh, possibly over-ripped for Fandango, but it's cool to see something new. And he's got the uh, ripped arms like Elite 19 Dolph Ziggler. And then you can see uh, the pants on this attire continue the craziness. Uh, silver studs around the waistband, and then this zebra design throughout still. Just crazy, the amount of color and detail, like every inch. I think only inside the knees is not covered with the uh, with the zebra print. He's got the Fandango logos and the squiggly flames. More Fandango logos at the bottom of the pants. Just a really sick amount of detail for this figure. Another knock, another figure knocked out of the park by Mattel. Uh, there you have it, Elite 27 Fandango. And uh, stay tuned for the next episode where we take a look at Elite 27 Kofi Kingston. Thanks for watching, guys.